Hi, welcome back. In the last video we created the uh, login form, but I did realize that the video was quite long, over 35 minutes. I do apologize for that. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep these videos short because I realized that long videos can be quite intimidating. All right, so in this video we're gonna create the sign up form. But before I get to that, I wanna um, I recommend you guys download the uh, React Developer Tools Chrome extension. Uh, I'm assuming you're using Chrome. If not, find an equivalent in your uh, browser. It's really uh, helpful. If I open up my Developer Tools, uh, put them side by side, open up the React tab, you can see we can drill in all our components and see what's happening, what components we have, what state they hold. For example, if we click on our login component, you see the state right here. And if we type stuff, it updates, you see update live. If we get some errors, you can see our errors here. You can see the loading boolean. You can even trigger change values and see how your uh, front end reacts to it. You see, I can put the loading and I can see that animation there. All right, so it's just that one, one thing I recommend you guys do. All right, let's actually create the uh, sign up form. So it's actually going to be so similar to the um, login form. So let's go to login, copy everything from here, and then go to sign up. Let me close the terminal, paste everything, and uh, we're going to change a couple of things. So first thing, first thing, these styles are shared between the two components so we can make them global. So let's copy everything here. Let's go to app.js and here we can paste them in our theme and we can get them by um, making the styles actually a function that takes the theme um, object and returns the following. And here we can just spread the theme and we'll have access to everything that's in the global theme. So let's do the same for login actually. So let's go to login and here instead of styles, we just do styles like this and we're gonna have the theme in there. Cool. So now here, let's change a couple of things. So the class is sign up. And here we have an email, a password, and we have a confirm password. And we have a handle as well. All right, so th that's the same. This is the same. Here we have new user data. And we also sent the confirm password this dot state dot confirm password and the handle as well. So this dot state dot handle. All right. So here we send an Axios request post request to uh, slash sign up and we send the new user data. <coughs> One thing I forgot though, when we get the token in res dot data dot token, we need to actually store it in uh, local storage so that if our application, someone refreshes the page or closes the browser and opens it again, we'll have access to the token locally. So we can do local storage dot set item. I'm going to call this um, FB for Firebase ID token like this. And the value will be a template string bearer space. And here we do a dollar sign uh, curly braces res dot data dot token. And we need to do the same for login, actually. Let's copy this one line and go to login. And here, when we get a response, we do the same. All right, so let's go back to sign up. Okay, so we set the state to load, loading to false. We push to the home page. Everything is the same. We get classes. And here, the title will be um, sign up. <coughs> Excuse me. Here, the, the first text field is the same as the email. The second one is the password is the same. And here we need uh, two more text fields. So let's copy this and paste it. The third one will have the ID of confirm password. We're not really using these IDs, but it's um, if you want to use them to style or anything, you can or to do anything else. The name will be confirm password like this and the type will be password the same. The label will be confirm password like this. The class name is the same. The error will be um, error.confirm password. Same thing here. And here it's dot state dot confirm password and handle change is the same. The third one, uh, the fourth one rather will be handle. Uh, the type is text. The name is handle, the ID, the label is handle with a capital H. 
and here the error is errors.handle so we can do control D twice and write handle and the rest is the same and here the button should say sign up and here we should say um, already have an account and we should say login here and this will redirect to slash login and this will be let's do control D here as well so you can we can change both of these and do sign up dot prop types equals classes is an object and is required all right I think this should be fine so let's save all files I've already got the server running the dev server up and running so if we go to our app we go to sign up we see this form cool we send we get our errors and we actually if we actually like do new three let's say at email.com and the password will be one two three four five six and we let's do a handle that exists it's gonna check it will say that let's do new three we sign up cool so it works it redirects everything is fine uh, these are just the requests that we sent and were not valid so that's fine we go to application if we look at local storage we find that our token is now stored all right that's cool uh, one thing though if we refresh actually no not if we refresh if we go to the login now or the sign up it still lets us through even though we're logged in so let's let's implement something that uh, prevents this behavior so let's go to um, here in app.js actually let's move all of this because I don't want to scroll this much here let's move all of that object and let's create let's create a folder here call it util for utility and let's create a file in there called theme.js and inside of here we'll say export default and we just export this uh, this theme so this object let's save and here let's bring it in let's say import theme or oh, there is a theme so let's say theme file from we go back one uh, we're on the same level slash util slash theme since it's the default export we can name it anything and here we just pass it to the create MUI theme and the behavior should still stay the same and here what we want to do is that once uh, this code that's here executes when once the application is started so what we want to do uh, we want to get the token so let's do const token equals so we can do local storage dot get item or actually we could just uh, local storage is an object we could just access this property so local storage dot fbid token so we get this property and we do if token so if we don't have a token this will be undefined so this condition would be false so um, here what we do is if we have a token what we want to do is we want to get this token decoded and inside of the decoded token we have an expiry date and actually to decode the token we need to install a library let's do npm install dash dash save jwt dash decode it's a library that decodes uh, json web tokens i know this is a firebase id token but if, um, essentially it's a uh, it's still a json web token so let's bring that in let's do import jwt decode like this uh, camel case from jwt well you can name it anything but just don't whatever you name it here you name it where you use it just to avoid any errors so here let's do const decoded token equals jwt decode and we pass it our token and now this will have a um a property called exp and if you were to go to the dev tools to the console you'll see we have this token actually we can't decode it here but let's do console.log decoded token and here it will find the token it will console log this decoded token and it's got this exp value where is it it's right here so this is a, a time value that's like um, a, a time from epoch it's called so if you do new date and you pass it this actually this is in seconds so we need to pass it this times 1000 you get exactly when this token is going to expire all right so what we need to do now is we need to compare it with 
with now actually. So let's do if decoded decoded token dot exp times one thousand is lesser than date dot now uh, as a function. That means it's actually expired. So we need to redirect to the home page or to the login page. So we do window dot location dot href equals slash login. And actually let's do a let's do let let's do a property a global variable called uh, authenticated and it has no value initially. So here if it's expired we say authenticated equals false. Now else if it's not expired authenticated equals true. And now here for our routes for the login and sign up we want to do something where we check that um, if, we're, if we're authenticated we redirect to the home page. So here let's actually instead of this route let's control D and let's type auth route and let's create this component let's bring it in and then create it so let's do import auth route and you'll see what this auth route does in a minute component slash uh, actually this will be in util util slash auth route and in util let's create an Actually, should we put it in util or in the... Let's put it in util, yeah, it's a utility and we're not going to use it. In... It's not a markup component. So authroute.js and here let's uh, do... It's going to be a functional component, so rfc tab. I'm going to change the syntax. Let's do const auth route equals uh, props and then gives us the following and let's do export default auth route or actually let me destructure straight away what we need from it so we're gonna pass it a component so from the component I'm gonna get the component with capital C no capital C which is gonna hold the component that we passed it and here we're gonna get uh, authenticated the property authenticated and we're gonna spread the rest of the properties so if we add anything it's gonna be added here so here what we return, actually we can uh, change this syntax to just parentheses so it straight away returns something. And here we need the route from react route to DOM and redirect react route to DOM. All right, we close that. And here we do route and we spread the props, uh, the, the rest props. So rest, and here we're gonna trigger render method. And this will take the props. And it's gonna check for authenticated. So if authenticated equals true, or equals true, then um, we render a redirect, redirect, and this is so if we're authenticated we redirect to slash which is the home and we close this else we just give that component which is going to be either the uh, login route or the um, sign up route now props let's spread the let's spread the props here i mean not rest all right this should be fine uh we need to close the route tag though a route component and let's save all right, so one more thing though. Here we actually pass it authenticated. So click here and hold Alt and click here and do authenticated equals authenticated. All right, let's save this. Let's go to our app. Let's make sure we have a token and it's not expired. So if we go to login, cool, it redirects us back to the home page. And if we Actually, if we delete the token now, it's not going to redirect us to the home page because this doesn't execute again. It only executes once uh, the app runs. But when we implement Redux later, it's going to fix it. So now we don't have a token. If I refresh the entire page, if I go to login and sign up, they're going to work fine. But yeah, once we implement Redux, 
uh, and we're gonna have like a global state and it's gonna update each time we do something it's gonna the, this will gonna behave much better all right so yeah this is it for this video thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye